In this video, I will show you how to set up a focus map in LASX Navigator. So when you have a section of tissue like this kidney and you're doing a tile scan, one of the easier ways to get good focus is to do a focus map. What the focus map does is that it creates a topographical map of your section and then it interpolates the focus between focus map points. I've already done a preview and I've used the magic wand tool to outline the region of interest. If you would like instructions on how to do that, please check out our other tutorial called LASX Navigator Quick Start. To set up a focus map, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen and hit the blue plus F button to allow me to designate focus map points. So the placement and number of focus map points really varies quite a lot depending on your tissue and how variable it is. Most of the time, the rule of sum is you want to do at least four focus map points on the corners of your section. So from this one, I'll do kind of a west, north, west, east, south configuration. And then depending on your tissue, you might want to add additional points, like perhaps the middle of this kidney might be a little bit different in focus compared to the cortex. The more focus map points you have, the more precise the focus map will be. However, it doesn't make sense to do more than one focus map position per tile. It also is time consuming to set up all of those focus map points. So when I'm done selecting focus map points, I hit this focus map button on the bottom right, and it brings up all of my focus map points. If I select the first one, it will go there, and then I can click live, and let's focus here. And when I'm happy with the focus here, I will hit set Z. So it puts in a Z for the focus, and then I can either manually go to each point and set the Z, or I could find remaining by autofocus, which is what I'm going to do. So to check my autofocus settings, I'm going to hit this dot dot dot. To bring up this focus map window, it shows me the range is 40 microns. This is the basically the Z stack that it's going to run the autofocus on. And then the number of Z slices is basically configured using this scroll wheel. It doesn't tell you how many Zs we have, but basically fast is less number of Z slices and precise is more number of Z slices. Usually something in the middle works quite well. You may need to adjust these settings depending on your sample. So when I'm happy with my settings, I will hit find remaining by autofocus and it will visit each of the focus map points and run a little Z stack and return the what it thinks is in focus. It's not a bad idea to sit and watch this happen to make sure that you are happy with the, the focus that it's de decided for your image. We saw that for instance, one of those images was out of focus. And now to manually reset the out of focus image or out of focus point, I will go to that point, hit live focus, and then hit set Z. So that one was clearly just out of focus or out of range. So in the future, if I'm working with these kind of tissues again, what I might do is increase my range to 60 microns or so to make sure that I get all of the full range of my tissue. When I have the focus map point set, so let me close this and then I will hit start. So now it's just going to do the tile scan using my focus map points as reference points for how to focus around in each, in the, in each individual tile. So now let's compare what happens with and without the focus map. So this is an image that I acquired without the focus map points. And you can see that most of it is pretty good. The top half appears mostly in focus, but like I, like I mentioned, the bottom half here is not. And even as we go up, there are some regions here that are completely out of focus. If we switch to the section where we actually use the focus map, you can see that this is much better and our regions down here are completely in focus. So this concludes the tutorial on setting up a focus map in LASX Navigator. Focus map is just one of the tools to making sure that you have an in focus image. Please check out our other videos for tips on how to use autofocus and adaptive focus control for your images.